Can you stop it? Can you, can you stop it, please? Fuck, can you stop it? Take off the helmet, you fucking moron. What? When Jon Stewart has done a meme, it is officially dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, fine. You know what's kind of stupid is that I was just standing there in the corner. I didn't have anybody else that would have come in and made available because uh, Eleni went to a Bon Jovi concert. I won't contribute to that stupid meme. Yes, please do not contribute to that stupid meme. So what's up, buddy? Uh, not much. I've moved back downstairs because the upstairs is way too cold today. Yeah. It's well, like four degrees, four degrees in here this morning. Well, the image is a lot cleaner this time around. I and, uh, yeah. And it's too bad. It's a little more comfortable upstairs, but, you know. The weather here has been insane. I can't remember yeah, how much I've, I've shoveled. Last year, we had absolutely no snow. This year, it's like it's almost every other day. It's supposed to snow today, actually. For you guys, yeah? Yeah, maybe maybe later. It's, I think, too warm right now. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's it's supposed to... Yeah, I have this like little pain right in the center of my back. Ah, and every time I do this, I can I can hear like the center of me cracking, so one day I'm just going to split open. Right. I got a pain in my back too, but that's that's from sex with a pregnant lady. <laughs> yeah. Fuck me, they are heavy. You got 3 people in that situation now. <laughs> so it's going to be heavy. I don't even want to think about that. I think you put, <laughs> put me off sex now for the rest of the week. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy! Nothing like free sex. Some would argue that there's no such thing as free sex. There is, however, free software, which is almost <laughs> as good as free sex. And some people, some for some people, that is their only alternative. Right, yeah, I for think, some people. I think we should, I hesitate to use the word christen. I think we should um, uh, invoke, uh, what's the word Folk. I can use? For a feature, uh, start, initiate a new feature because I want to get rid of that. We used to do, we did app of the week once or twice. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think that I think that sounds too appley for me. I think we should call our new section, our new feature, uh, "Free is in Freedom," or "Free is in Beer." Free is in freedom. Free is in beer. Okay, so uh, I I don't know. You got anything? But I've got. I have nothing. Actually, you you, know you did not. Let me know beforehand, but go ahead. I'll think yeah, of something. Well, so I'm just uh, so this is my ebook reader, and it's a few years old. And uh, so there's a bit of glare it's, on there. It's, it's a few years old, and it's it's the ebook. It. It's from the Netherlands. Yeah, I haven't powered it on yet, so I'm powering it on now. Okay. To demonstrate that what I did this week, uh, after much hesitation, is I've installed the there's a open source version of the firmware for this. Was it called yeah. Open Box? Open Books. Oh, there's two O's. Yeah. Um, and it's it's a great example of how how the uh, how like the open source community can actually improve upon stuff that's uh, that's already out there. So, in the on the old book, I had there's two options. Basically, the the way it sorts books, it has it, you got. On the main menu, you've got the internal flash, like the internal memory. Mm -hmm. It was just called My Books. And then you had um, SD card. And then you had a folder called Recent Books, which would keep track of the books you'd been, you'd been reading. Uh, so three folders. That's so it. Three folders. Oh, and there's a bunch of other stuff because it can play music. It could play MP3 files. Uh, it had a, there, I think there might have been a couple other things for it. And it can browse the web. It's got, it's got Wi-Fi. Oh, nice. And it has a... Um, and you can also... Uh, you can make notes on PDF files using the stylus. Oh so, wow! It even has a stylus. Even has a stylus, and you can like draw pictures with it, obviously. Uh, so that's still there. Uh, the pictures, actually, the scribbles thing for drawing pictures is is the same one that came. They're using the the commercial like the the commercial version. They just sort of tweaked it. Uh, tweak. They did no. They just sort of had to put it in wholesale because it's not it's not. Um, they can't get access to the source code for it. But oh, uh, what okay. they they also added like there's an application section. I don't know what applicate. I haven't even looked at that. Um, like cal there's a calculator, calendar, clock, dictionary, um, and the, all that stuff that. wasn't available before. Some of it was. Some of it was. Um, okay. And then there's like a couple games. There's Gomoku and Sudoku, which I I fucking loathe. But I think there's other <laughs> ones I can go out and get. And then obviously you can browse 
websites. Uh, and the music, they've, they've changed it. So I think in the current version, it can play uh, MP3, uh, Wave, FLAC, uh, and maybe AUG files as well. Well, I, I don't use it for music because I got another. You know, I got my phone for that. Sure. Yeah. But I well, I guess I guess the idea is is audiobooks, right? It's not for music. Well, the folder is actually called music, but yeah, audiobooks would make sense mm -hmm. for this. Yeah. Um, although I don't know if it'll. I, that, I think is I'm not sure about audiobooks because I'm not sure if it'll hold your place. Oh right. Yet. Yeah, I hate that. Um, and and also because it's not a touchscreen device like the more recent ones, because this is <laughs> like this is 2010, I think I bought it. Spring 2010. Um, yeah, it's around three years old. Yeah, and I was actually I was so when I when I saw your Kobo reader and my mom's Kobo reader when I was in in Canada. Yeah, I was stranded in Canada after after I left the cabin before I got back to Japan. Um, I was I was like really impressed with the Kobo and I was thinking shit I want I want one of those but I don't know this has breathed new life into this for me because one of the things that it does that's really cool is that. Um, now there's a scan option and they've integrated a proper database in here so I can scan all the metadata and now I can actually sort by title, author, publisher, year and whether the book's read or unread I still have the recently read thing um, I have new books so anything I've just added will, will show up on the, next, on the next database refresh the bad thing is I have to do the database refresh manually and uh, but before I, the only option I had was like I don't know if you can read that, but it just shows the folders by the author's name because that's how Caliber, right, puts them in there. Puts them in there. That's okay. the only that's the only option I had to to browse. And also some of them aren't, like some of them are ordered by last name, some by first name. So to actually have it read the metadata is huge. Yeah, that's great. I'm surprised that it wasn't doing that before though. I know I don't know why it wasn't in the official. Firm. I had the most recent version and it it just it never did that. Yeah, don't you love that it? when it takes like a third party to really. Uh, bring back old pieces of equipment that you had. Well, and this is the thing: is that because even even <laughs> that's usable now. Sold, even, it, like, this company still exists; they still sell th things. And but the thing is, you know, a company doesn't have any great reason to to support a device it put out three years ago. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I I have this like idea of actually finding every single book that I have. And putting it into an e-reader, but I don't know which format to put it in. I don't know what I, I should do. keep as a standard. What depends on what your what reader you. Have. What the reader is? Well, because I have the Kobo, but I want to be able to make a backup of it for the Kindle too. So, what format does this this Kindle use? Is it Mobi or is it Mobi. EPUB? It's do you use Mobi. Mobi? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah? sure. I don't. I don't download a lot of books from Amazon because they're the the e-books are. Honestly, they're kind of expensive, and I understand the reasonings why, but I tend to buy more like independent authors whose books are less expensive because they're not cutting in like a million fucking people in the, from the publishing company. Yeah, no, I know. I, it's really easy to self-publish too, but I don't know if those people are actually making any money. How does, how does Amazon make money though? I don't, I don't remember the last time I bought a book from Amazon. It's been a, a long time since I actually purchased anything. Really? Uh, oh, I, yeah. I, I buy stuff all the time from them. Yeah, the, no, I um, especially here in Japan is the cheapest way to get books. Mm -hmm. um, well, North American books or just in general. Like, do you get do you get a anime books like or manga? I, you no, buy it from no, them. No, I, I you don't, don't buy that from them, right? No. No. Okay. No, uh, but I buy no. I, I buy like usually North American, like well English 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 language books. Mm -hmm. I've bought a few Japanese books for for the girlfriend. Yeah. And, and now I'm going to start buying like English language kids books. <laughs> kids books too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because that does, and people are like, oh, you can get you can get the Kindle version. I'm like, you know, Doctor Seuss isn't quite the same on an e-reader. No, you want to see that. You want to see yeah. the pictures. And you want it big, yeah. and you want it you want it in that sort of 1950s like two or three color printing yeah. process. Yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of so, what you want. I just I hate DRM. I know, I know why they it's use nice. it, but I just it just drives me crazy. Um, that when you purchase something. They don't let you move it to another device. It just, yeah, it really pisses me off. And Amazon is terrible for this shit. I've, I, uh, the, uh, the the thing that really pisses me off too is when I see Disney or one of those other companies that says free digital copy, and it's like, yeah, a digital copy that I could watch once on one device. Well, that's the difference between free as in freedom or free as in beer. Yeah. 
Whoa. <laughs> and speaking of, of DRM, the one problem that I had for years, I was buying a, um, tax software, the quick tax software, uh, yeah. TurboTax in the U.S., but for us it was called QuickTax, and I think I think they just changed their name to TurboTax to keep it consistent. And I used to install it on my computer, and, and back when I was running like Windows 95 and Windows 98, I had to install my computer, reinstall my computer, I think almost every every other week because it was just mm -hmm. the performances uh, just the uh, software that I was using just performance wise it was just it was just shitty and uh, and so I installed quick tax on it once and then I had to call them and say to them yeah I formatted my computer because they could only let you install it once I think now they've opened it up to at least twice because I guess right. enough people were calling in um, and it was completely legitimate. I wasn't trying to like rip them off or anything. I was just calling in and I said, you know, I needed to reinstall the software. And they uh, and they were like, well, you called in last year and, you know, and asked for the same thing, like because we looked up the history of your name, you know, whatever. And I'm like, so, you know, I I reformat every other week. What, what's your problem? What what difference does it make? I bought it. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, there was just. It was just like in this like awkward moment where like do you think I'm installing this on another computer? You know, it's how many times do you think I'm gonna do my taxes this year, jackass? Yeah. So yeah, I know. I hate that. I hate that about um Yeah. You know, it's the inconvenience, but I, I know why they do it. They think that they're gonna prevent people from copying the software, giving it to their parents, giving it to their family members or friends or whatever, but you know, I only called one other time. It wasn't like I was constantly calling in and saying every week, you know, hey, uh, I formatted my computer. Yeah, well, you know, I don't, what I, well, I mean, I, I mean, I, you can't file with this, with what I use, but I can't, I can't, I, to file online in Japan anyway, I, I, it's like, you have to. You yeah, what do you do? Anyway, so I actually, uh, I, I use a program. Oh, we should throw up the title card again. Uh, the Freeze of Freedom? Okay. Yeah. There it is. Free as in freedom, free as in beer. Um, so, GNU Cash. It's accounting software that is open source. Are you pronouncing the G? I'm pronouncing the G. It's maybe new cash, but then it sounds like I'm saying new cash. So right, I'm right, right. So people will probably... Clarity. Yeah, for the sake of... The screen, G-N-U Cash... GNU cash, cash. As in money, not cash as in hiding place. Right, or a computer cash. Yeah, that yeah, a hiding place. Computer hiding place. That's what cash means. Anyway, now that we're not, mother's not doing our taxes anymore. Yeah. Uh, that's what I've looked into, and it, it works really well. I mean, it's got so, look, it's got some fucking rough edges because it's tax software. I mean, huge project, and it's it's amazing that it works as well as it does. But you can do things like invoices. Although invoices, the oh, the design, like designing an invoice is such a pain in the ass because they've got it in this weird script format, as opposed to anything you can actually fucking edit. <laughs> uh, so basically, it's just options. But if you want to do something cust really custom, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Very limited. I've been thinking about getting like finding another piece of software just to do my invoices. Okay. Uh, but it, then it's like two steps. Anyway, for now, it's working well enough. Not that I have many invoices because all my clients have fucked off. Does that synchronize with the internet? To get the latest, the la yeah, latest uh, uh, currency. Yeah, it does. It was really hard in the old, the old version, the the first version I downloaded. It didn't work very well, and like it never got it set up. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't use it because usually, if I'm doing currency conversion, I, I I it's the rate whatever the rate my bank or credit card has charged me. So I just put that in. So there's no point in going to the internet. Oh, I see. I don't have the, I don't have yeah. so much money in Canadian dollars that I have to worry about my net worth. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah. As you know, after after we were rich for 15 minutes, we got totally wiped out. So <laughs> yeah. there's not much in terms of. I mean, I've got assets. I've got that. I've got assets, but honestly, they're not. I don't even technically own them. Okay, but um, tax software is that? Does it do your taxes as well? Well, I mean, it doesn't do your taxes in terms of filling up the forms. But it this is this is kind of like a Quicken program, right? Yeah, it's like Quicken. okay. Yeah. Okay. But uh, you can you could export into it. Oh, you could. I, yeah, and you could you export, export it out yeah. as well. Okay. Yeah. So that's good, and it's free. And it's free. That is as the I best say, price bit, in the bit, world. It's got some some rough edges, but it's 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 what I need. So do you think do you think we're being really cheap about 
about you know all this free software? Yeah, sort of like the new the, the thing that like people nowadays they don't want to pay for anything because they're so used to like, so much of the stuff that you want yeah. you can actually get for free legally or illegally. Yeah, maybe maybe we are being cheap, but I don't know. I think it I think there's a different economy emerging and it's an economy of if I don't sound too fucking uh, granoli with this, it's an economy of people like doing things for each other. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, and maybe just because it's not based on money doesn't make it bad. And I'd rather support a cool project. I'm I had a friend. The same product. Yeah. Yeah, I had a friend who was at, uh, at my old uh, internet job, and uh, uh, he would he would say stuff like, "I'm sure that if somebody's thought of it, there's a pay version, and then there's a there's a free version, and depending on your patience, like or, uh, the the patience, and also uh, how much time you actually have." Yeah. Uh, that would determine whether or not you're going to go with the free one or you're going to go with the with the paid one, and I it's true. To a certain I agree. How many brain cells you have to rub together? Yeah. Well, you know, obviously. I mean, if you can if you can figure it out, and if, if there's a problem with it, and you could figure out exactly what the problem is, um, you know, by all means, stick with the free ones, and you know, screw the man. I like this the tax software that I use, and like like you said, I, we can't use mother computer anymore. There was. There was, uh, and I'll go to any length to try to get it as cheaply as possible because I mean, you know, I'm already paying. I know that every year I'm always paying to the government, and uh, you know, Mother Computer would would do little things like that so that at least I could break even. If I don't have to pay anything, that would be awesome. Right. But this year, uh, I had to go and buy the software, and it was just humiliating. It was it was a horrible <laughs> experience. Hold on, hold on. This should be this should be a new feature. We should call it. Oh, you, want this, you want to make this into a feature? Okay. Yeah, it's making it a feature. Humiliation, <laughs> like from Quake. A lot. We should make yeah. it a feature. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it, it, this is called humiliation. Okay. Price matching. You do it. I do it. Well, do you do it in Japan? No, I don't do it. I don't do okay. it anywhere. I just it's not. Is worth, that, it's generally not worth the effort. Is that um? Is that like like looking down at somebody? Socially in Japan, if they try to price match, no, it's that's not a it's not a thing. We don't do that. Do, do Japanese Japanese people don't look for deals? And they look for deals, but I don't think we have price matching here. No, I don't even okay. know how does how does it how is it supposed to work? Okay, well, essentially, if if someone's advertising, like the the main one, like the main um, gist of it is that if you find something that's advertised somewhere else, a little bit cheaper. Then you could go to the special desk, ordering desk, or whatever, like the the customer service desk, and talk to the person and say, "Look, okay, I have the product. This is where they're selling it. You know, like they're selling this at Walmart for this price or whatever. You guys are selling it for this price. They match the price. You buy it from them. So, which doesn't make any sense, you know, because like, why don't you just go to the other place that's selling it cheaper? But then I stopped and realized that one day where, you know, they could have sold out at the other place. So yeah. and now this place has it, so you can you can buy it right from them, or you have like a gift card. So I'm going to um, I'm going to Walmart and I and I and I pick up one of their flyers. I was just like there looking for some some action figures, and I'm looking at the thing and and I see that they're selling the tax software for twenty nine dollars and I think it was uh, ninety eight cents. Okay? okay. So, and I said, wow, this is great because I saw it at Best Buy for thirty nine bucks. So I want to go go price match it with them at Best Buy because I have a sixty dollar gift card, you know, for Best Buy. So my the Walmart that I go to is right next to the Best Buy, so it was actually really convenient that oh, I just okay. grabbed the fly from there and I walked over. And so I went and I waited in line. There was only one other person in front of me. This is like very rare for me because usually when I go to do something uh, like this, you know, there's like twenty people in line. So I right. just you know I have to. I have to decide whether or not I actually have the time to, to you know, waste doing this, or maybe I could just go to Walmart and get it. But anyway, waited. There was only one other person. Didn't take very long. Two cashiers. There was one girl. Like I don't want to. I'm not making fun of her, but but she had like the biggest nose that I've ever seen in my life. Like she was really, really like. You know, she was she was an attractive girl, but her nose was the only thing that was really. You know not, what they say about big noses, right? Yeah, especially on girls. Huge penises. Anyway, mm. the other girl, like I thought it was going to her, but the other girl was like this smoking hot chick. Like I couldn't believe how good looking. She's working at Best Buy. So she's there. I end up going to her, 
And I said to her, you know, oh, sorry, I should mention too that when I went walked into Walmart, or sorry, when I walked into Best Buy, they were selling it for twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So it was right. just a penny difference, right? So I walked up to her and I said, you know, blah blah blah. Here's the uh, the flyer. Will you price match? And she just kind of looked at me like, you know, for a penny. And and in my mind, like what you said before, it's ten percent of the difference. But I was thinking you get ten percent off, yeah. not not the difference. So it would have been ten percent off of a penny. Yeah. And meanwhile, I'm thinking, man, I'm getting ten percent off on this thing. <laughs> and 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 so she she's like, okay, well, she starts figuring it out. She's mumbling to herself, right? Like I'm not listening to her because I'm thinking ten percent off. And I'm doing my little dance, and she's like, okay, ten percent on one penny is one tenth of a cent. I'll just take off three cents or whatever. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm not even listening to what she's saying. And so <laughs> she gets, she gets her manager to come over because they need to like sign off on it. They need to, right. uh, they need to sign off on like enter in their code or whatever. And the, the manager looks at me and she's like, really? And I'm like, what, you know, what, what's the big deal? Like I have my gift card. So now I'm not paying for it too. I don't pay, you know, I wasn't paying it. I got a $5 coupon. You know that I I got 400 points, so I look at the bill and then I look at it and I'm like, she only took three cents off, <laughs> and she must think I'm like the biggest asshole. I had no idea. She must have thought I was like the biggest asshole going in there for one penny, <laughs> just like a penny difference. But I mean, like I had a reason. I had a gift card. I wanted to. I didn't want to pay for it. I wanted to use yeah. the gift card. Um, but she's looking at like I I just wasted her time for one penny. Wasted her Meanwhile, time for a rounding error. Yeah, exactly. And uh, and so yeah, so basically humiliation, humiliation, humiliation. I'm not going back to that Best Buy ever again. No, I would not suggest uh, that unless she's working there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say especially if she's working there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's what I meant. Humiliation. 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 I look forward to future editions of this feature. Oh, there there'll probably be many of them. So, Thanks to my penny pennies, and this and our penny's gone now. We don't even have pennies anymore. Oh, that's right. Did you hear about so that? How did, they, how did that work out? Well, people have been. Oh, that's why she did three cents. That's why. That's why she, that's did, why she three did three. Cents. So that it would be like maybe a nickel 95. or something? Yeah. It'd be 95. So yeah. That... Ah. <laughs> so I got it for 90. So I got, I went to the, the, um, Metro, our grocery store, and this is, yeah. this is the change that I got back of $20. I just bought like some eggs. And they oh, gave me, pennies? they gave me three pennies and a dime. This is the change I got back today. But they're not supposed to give you pennies anymore. Yeah. That's what I thought. The fuck? And this isn't that. This isn't happened just once this week. It's it's happened like a few times. And then I was talking to Eleni too, and she's like, "Oh no, no, some places will still accept them if you have them, but they're not supposed to give them to you." So in other words, if your bill came to like three cents or whatever, it's their prerogative whether or not they want to like round it up or round it down. Right. But but they give they they put it on you. So if you have the change, then they'll take it. I, you know, I just realized what is going to happen to those companies that make the take a penny, leave a penny dishes. They are fucked. <laughs> is that a company? I, I don't know, but I've been. I, so what, what, it's not. It's not a company. What is it? Geppetto and his workshop makes those. Yeah, what? I don't know. I don't know. But I went to the. I went to my bank. Oh, my and business is ruined. Ah! Our banks. Our banks actually had like signs up saying, uh, "Hey." Bring in your old pennies and we'll donate it to some kids who need water. And it's like, why don't you guys fucking give them money, you assholes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you my pennies. I know. What? Yeah. If you just if you just gave those kids the rounding the like the the yeah. the, you, you, the the fractions of cents that you round off transactions for a year, everyone mm. would have fucking water. Right. Douches. Yeah. I know. So anyway. All right, dude. I think uh, uh, enough. I think yeah, I think so, we got uh, we got covered uh, covered everything this week. So I shall bid you a fond peace out, and fuck off. Excellent, and I will see your pennies online. I 
hate when my phone charger won't reach my bed. I hate when my little seats aren't heated. When I go to the bathroom and I forget my phone. La mettre la radio dans la machine à laver, je commence à sentir. I hate it when my house is so big. I need two wireless waters. When my milk gun makes my hot water taste too cold. When I have to write my maid a check, but I forget her last name. I'm pas capable to message my machine en même temps. Moi t'ai quitté casse moi en bas. Moi raï les voisins à bloquer internet là. I hate it when I tell them no pickles and they still give me pickles.